Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily the Mystic, and I am an Akashic Records reader, a channeler, a quantum energy healer, and a psychic medium. And in today's video, I am sharing all the information that you need to know about the Ascended Masters, who they are, how they ascended, and how you can connect with these amazing beings of light who are assisting you at this very moment on your journey here on Earth. And it's going to be a really in interesting, pa information-packed video today because there is a lot to talk about when it comes to the Ascended Masters. And I hope that you leave this video today feeling enlightened and feeling like you have an even stronger connection to the Ascended Masters than you ever have before. And what I really want you to keep in mind is that some of the information in this video may be a bit triggering for you, depending on your religious background, depending on whether you grew up in a religion or not. It may challenge some of the belief systems that you have or the belief systems of your family or of society in general. And so in this now moment, we're gonna set the intention to just let go of any old beliefs, any old conditioning programming specifically religious and societal conditioning and programming that may be kind of holding you back from being able to fully absorb this information today. And in its place, we're going to cultivate the energy of curiosity so that you can approach this topic from being curious about wanting to learn more, wanting to understand a different perspective about who the Ascended Masters are and their purpose. And I really want you to be able to fully witness and take in this incredible information because it's really going to support you on your journey. So if you feel like this video is going to trigger you, you may want to just stop the video right now. But if not, I want you to keep watching because we're going to be talking about some really interesting information. Okay, so the Ascended Masters are teachers guides and mentors. Their purpose is to help and assist us here on earth in our own ascension journey as a collective and as individual human beings. And they're here to help us, guide us, mentor us every single step of the way to fulfilling our own missions and purposes here on earth. And so the Ascended Masters, they are omniscient. And omniscient means that their consciousness has the ability to be able to help, assist, be with, be energetically present with many, many, many people all at the same time. So they can be helping me, they can be helping you, they can be helping your neighbor, your best friend, somebody, you know, thousands of miles away all at the same time, 24-7, 365 days out of the year, uh, because for them, space and time is not a thing. They don't have physical bodies. Um, and so they are assisting and have the ability to be able to assist us all at the same time. And you can even, if you are into and open to exploring your multidimensionality, which means that you understand that you are not just here on earth, but that your soul has incarnated in other spaces and times. You may even want to consider the possibility that the Ascended Masters are also helping you in other spaces and times and other beings in other spaces and times, perhaps even on other planets and other realities and in other places. So I think that's pretty cool. And just having the awareness that they have the ability to be able to make this massive energetic impact on so many beings all at the same time. So the Ascended Masters, the reason why they're sort of grouped together as a collective is because at one time they walked this earth plane as human beings themselves. They have all lived the human experience. Um, they've also perhaps had other physical incarnations elsewhere in other galaxies, other places, other planets. Again, if you're open to that concept of multidimensionality, I do want you to consider that as well, that they may have had incarnations elsewhere. But it is important to note that they have been human beings. So they understand the human experience. They've lived it before. They have been here before. They have had other incarnations other than the main incarnation that we may know them to have lived. Um, and this is a really important distinction to make because the angels, for example, 
go back and check out my video all about the angels and archangels if you haven't watched it yet. The angels have never incarn in incarnated here on earth. We've never had a physical body. And so they haven't had that experience that the ascended masters have of being able to live in a human body, learn the lessons that it means to live in this human experience and so on and so forth. So they're really uniquely adapted and able to bring us so much wisdom, so much guidance, because they've done this before, they know what it feels like, and so they have so much unconditional love, admiration, and respect for us, for what we are going through at this very moment. And so along their own unique individual ascension processes, they completed their own soul lessons. So they went through their own series of lessons that they needed to embody and learn in their own lifetimes, and they completed a level of soul mastery. Um, they have really come into, some people refer to this as fully completing your dharmic path or fully completing your karmic path or fully completing and embodying your soul's purpose. So they fully embody that purpose, that sort of end all be all of why they chose to exist, you know, since the beginning of time and that they needed to complete in order to move their journey forward. So they've completed their human embodiment, their human experience, their soul mastery in human form. So because of that, they have ascended and become enlightened beings. So now they no longer take on a physical form. They fully inhabit what's known as their light body. So they are fully energetic beings. They don't take on a physical form and therefore, again, they're omniscient. So they're able to help so many of us here at the same time. Um, there is some information out there in the spiritual community that perhaps some of these ascended master beings are still incarnating here on earth at this present time. I personally do not believe that to be true. I believe that we can carry the essence of these ascended masters, which I'm going to get to at the end of the video, and that we may have specific soul connections to these ascended masters based on our past lives and our past incarnations. But I personally don't believe that these ascended masters that I'm speaking to today aren't incarnating in physical human form anymore. There's no reason for them to do that. And so they're assisting us in their light body form in other spaces and times. Um, and that's how they're able to help us here on earth. So the Ascended Masters, again, have come into complete mastery of their soul. They've also come into complete mastery of the human experience and being in a physical body. So they've also perhaps fulfilled some karmic lessons. They have, you know, moved beyond above and beyond some limit the limitations and challenges that we can experience here on this earth plane. And they have moved into a state of full unconditional love of self and of being. And that full unconditional love of self, because again, remember, we're all connected. We all have source energy within us. They understand and recognize that they unconditionally love everyone else. Because when you love yourself, you love all others as well, fully and unconditionally. So they have fully kind of embodied their I am presence. <laughs> And they are able to now be ascended. Again, they don't take on a physical form. They are fully embodied in their light bodies and they embody that energy of unconditional love that I just spoke to. So it, with this in mind, again, remember that because we are all connected to source energy, we all embody God energy. We all have God within us. When we love ourselves, we love all others, right? Fully and unconditionally. And it's important to note on that point that the Ascended Masters do not view themselves to be greater than us. They do not view us to be less than they are. We are all energetically equal. We are all equal beings, um, which is very contrary to what a lot of religions teach. A lot of religions teach in a us to believe in a savior and a savior that is above all of us. But under this teaching that I'm in belief system that I'm sharing with you today, which I know to be true from working with the ascended masters, they view us as energetic equals to them. So they, again, they're not above us or greater than us. 
yes, they embody a beautiful spectrum of soul wisdom, but so do every single one of us. Maybe you don't fully con- are not fully consciously aware of it. Your ego may not be aware of it, but you're still embodying that soul wisdom within you. So again, they are not above us. There is no hierarchy in terms of better than, worse than, good or bad. Okay, so their purpose is to help us to fulfill our own unique divine plans, to help us on our own ascension journey, that journey to enlightenment, that path of ascending into moving above and beyond our physical incarnations here on this earth plane. And they're also not just here to help us individually as souls, but they're here to help the earth, the collective consciousness, to ascend as well to raise the vibration and frequency of the planet, and to help Mother Earth fulfill her own ascension goals, right? Again, we're all connected. And so remember that as they're helping each and every one of us individually, they're help, we're helping the group as a whole. And as they're helping the group as a whole, they're helping and making an impact on each of us individually. So I think that's super, super important to note because they are so driven and so, so they're so ready to help us because we're helping each other and we're also helping the planet to ascend as well. And so these ascended masters that I'm speaking to today, they, I group them into this category of ascended masters because of the title. Um, They are ascended. So again, they don't take on a physical form. They have moved through their full ascension process. They are enlightened beings. And they have become masters of this physical earth experience. They have become masters of their soul, of their dharma, of their unique purpose. And they are now, they've moved on to this beautiful incarnation as ascended masters where they're able to assist us here on earth and help us with our own divine soul missions. So ascended masters and guides can be gods, they can be goddesses, they can be major religious teachers and other beings of light. Um, So yeah, so let's talk about some of the most popular, most well-known ascended masters. And I, oh, before we even get there, I want to say that we all have different soul connections to different ascended masters. So in this particular incarnation, in this lifetime, if you were raised with specific set of religious beliefs or in a specific religion, you're naturally going to have a strong soul connection to the ascended masters of that religion. So for example, I was raised Roman Catholic. You maybe have been raised Catholic or Christian. So you're going to naturally have a strong connection to Jesus. You're going to naturally have a strong connection to Mother Mary and some of the other important ascended masters in the Christian faith. Um, But your soul, again, has had other incarnations and other lifetimes. So more likely than not, you're going to have strong soul bonds to other ascended masters from other incarnations, other times and planes. For me in particular, my soul has a really strong connection to ancient Egypt. A lot of my clients do as well. So I work a lot with goddess Isis. Um, I also work a lot with Toth um, and some of the other Egyptian, pretty famous, well-known Egyptian ascended masters as well. Um, So your soul may have specific allegiances, I guess that's not really the right word, but connections to ascended masters, depending on your belief systems in this lifetime. Again, you also created soul contracts to learn and be part of a specific religion in this lifetime. So you're naturally going to have this really strong soul tie to a specific, you know, religion ascended masters because of the soul contracts that you entered into before you came here. Um, so again, you're going to have all of these different connections. So you may feel drawn to working with some ascended masters over others. You may even get triggered by working with some ascended masters, perhaps because they are different than a religion that you have been involved with in this lifetime, or perhaps because they're part of the same religion and you naturally get triggered because of maybe some religious trauma that you have had in this lifetime. So just some different things to consider, but you may feel naturally drawn to learn about, to work with some different ascended masters because your soul knows them already very intimately. And that's just kind of a nudge for you to follow because they see you, they witness you, they recognize you. They kind of want you to wake up to them and, and know who they are so that they can 
really consciously start working with you. It's also important to note that they are working with you already, even if you're not conscious of it. So they're giving you little nudges. They're helping your spirit guides. They're sort of assisting your overall soul path. And so I want you to know that they've already been on your spirit guide team for some time. Again, especially if you have an experience in a religious faith in this lifetime. But even if you haven't consciously been aware of it or working with them, they're still assisting you and helping you. So just really cool to know that, that they love you so much and they have been helping you and working with you um, above and beyond what you are even aware of. So yeah, so you may feel called to work with some over others. You may feel triggered by some over others. So just really interesting to know that and if you do feel triggered by some ascended masters that may be something for you to work on healing uh you may want to work with a coach or a mentor on that or a therapist on that but you may also want to work with them later on when you feel called and ready to learn more about them and to work with them i also do want to mention too that because everything is energy all of these ascended masters carry their own unique energy frequency so they are all made up, their consciousness is made up of a specific energy frequency, which when you learn how to use your intuitive and psychic gifts to connect with these beings, you can feel that frequency, that energy, that resonance within your body. And you know and can sense that impact of their unique energetic frequency. All of these beings have a different energy. So they're able to help you and assist you in different ways because their energy carries a unique frequency that can help you with a specific thing. So let's take Mother Mary, for example, because she is one of the Ascended Masters that I work the most with, that I spend the most time with. <laughs> oh, she's very present. Um, yeah, she wants to say hello, but she is such a loving energy. So Mother Mary really carries this beautiful embodiment of this nurturing, mothering energy. She is the original mother. So she really wants to assist us in, because she carries that frequency of nurturing and of mothering and of un unconditional love, she wants to assist us with helping us understand how to feel and embody that frequency in our own lives. So especially if you are a mother or you are working on healing your relationship with your own mother or somebody else in your life, um, she is really wonderful at helping you with that. She's helping, great at helping you nurture yourself and your own spirit and nurture other people in your life as well. So Mother Mary, again, carries and embodies that beautiful, beautiful, nurturing, nourishing motherly energy. Uh, we also have, of course, Jesus, uh, Jesus, the son of Mary, of course, in this particular, in their particular incarnation. Um, so that that because that is the incarnation that they chose to ascend from. So that was their last physical incarnation here on Earth. Um, that is why we know them by those names and understand them by those names. So Jesus, of course, has such another one who really embodies unconditional love. He really teaches us to move past judgment and to move beyond judgment um, and to move into that space of pure love and understanding of not just ourselves, but of other people around us as well. He is also such a teacher. So he really embodies the energy of wisdom. So these are all different energies that you can feel and sense and know when you connect to Jesus' frequency and you connect to his energy. Now, just a side note as well, when you're learning how to connect to these different Ascended Masters, you want to make sure that you are using proper psychic protection, proper boundaries when working with the spirit world. So I want you to make sure that you check out my video called Psychic Protection and Discernment so that you can learn some of my techniques for how I do this and how I make sure that I am communicating with beings and energies of the highest vibrational frequency. This is important to note because I have had clients in the past who have come to me thinking that they're communicating with Jesus, that they are communicating with Goddess Isis or other Ascended Masters, but... That connection, that energy frequency isn't of unconditional love. Perhaps they've had weird experiences with that being. They've given them weird guidance, weird advice that's made the client feel uncomfortable. They're not connecting with the real, the true Jesus, the real, the true goddess Isis, etc. 
And that's because they're not using proper psychic boundaries and protection. This can happen. We can have uh, negative astral beings imitate and imposter for the real ascended masters. Um, and so it's just really something to be aware of. I don't want to say this to frighten you or to scare you but it can happen. And so please check out that video. It's gonna give you everything you need to know so that you can choose one of these Ascended Masters that you feel drawn to working with and you can connect with them in a really real intuitive way. Okay, so moving on from that, um, another really amazing Ascended Master that I work a lot with is Goddess Isis. She is incredibly powerful and she carries this very, sweet yet fierce energy so she's a very very she embodies the energy of strength and courage um and she really helps us to do that as well she's also amazing with intuition she's she's a great guide to work with when you're opening up your intuitive gifts and working with your your channeling abilities your psychic abilities Next, another important one to know is Buddha. Buddha, again, is well known to a lot of religions. Buddha is the great teacher. He is the great master teacher and the great teacher of peace and of embodying that energy of peace and calm and serenity within the self. And of course, ascending beyond the physical body as well. Um, so he is really amazing and impactful when, want, when you are on a journey of learning to embody any of those things that I just mentioned um, and moving towards mastery of the self and mastery of the body. So next we have goddess Lakshmi. She is a another fierce energy. I have to say most of the feminine, divine feminine um, ascended masters are strong. They're strong, fierce women. Um, fierce, I should say, divine feminine energy, which is so powerful. And so Lakshmi is the goddess of abundance. So she really works with us when we want to embody that energy of prosperity, wealth, abundance in our own lives. She can really show up when you feel like you need some help in that area of your life. So you can definitely call her in and work with her on that note. Uh, next, I want to talk about goddess Athena. So she has started coming through for me more recently, and she is a warrior goddess. She is a really, really intellectually strong and another fierce goddess energy. So she really loves to assist us with matters of the intellect and with learning new things and with embodying wisdom in our lives. So she is really great with helping us when we're learning new things, when we're trying new things, experiencing new things, moving into a new phase of life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, next, I really want to speak to Goddess Diana. So Goddess Diana is, she's the goddess of the hunt. Um, she's really amazing with focused intention and with setting your sights on a goal and taking action towards achieving that goal um, because she is just, she's really amazing with helping us with taking guided action, actually getting things done. So she's a great ascended master to work with on that note. Um, and I also want to mention Goddess Freya. Goddess Freya is another one that I've worked with for some time now. And she, another really fierce, strong goddess energy. Goddess Freya to me comes through a lot to help with animals and to work with animal animal energy, spirit animal energy. Um, and she also can really assist us with embodying our inner courage. So she's another really strong warrior goddess. And she can really assist us with understanding and knowing ourselves as well and our own inner strength, our own inner well of courage. And finally, I want to mention Saint Germain because Saint Germain I spend a lot of time with as well. He is the keeper of the violet flame frequency. So he assists us with energy clearing and releasing entities and negative energies that are not for our highest and best good. Um, so he can help us with clearing our energy, clearing our field, especially if you do intuitive work. He's a great being to call in to help you to clear off anything that you may be holding on to from your clients. Okay. So that is just a brief overview of some of the most 
well-known ascended masters and guides and some of the ones that I work with. I mean, this is not an all-inclusive list. There are so many ascended masters and guides and they want to help us. They want to help us to master this human experience, to learn, to learn the lessons that we're here to learn and to help us to fully embody this incarnation and this experience on earth. So that is my video all about the Ascended Masters. Again, if you want to learn how to connect with these Ascended Masters, make sure you check out my video all about psychic protection and discernment. It's going to be linked in the caption. So go check that out. Give the techniques in that video a try to call in one of these Ascended Masters that you feel drawn to work with. And you can create a beautiful new connection and relationship with this particular Ascended Master. All right, thank you for listening. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked the content and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. I can't wait to see you in the next video and sending love for a beautiful day ahead.